Oh we'll my god. We'll axe Pokemon for a little this bit. This match is going to be incredible. Let me set this up. Let me set this up. Alright, set it up. Alright. So first of all, on the right, in the right corner, you've got Panda, right? Kind of up and coming, really technical Fox main. He's a button pusher. He's definitely a button pusher, but like he presses really good buttons, right? Um, Florida for the longest time kind of had like this trend of laser heavy Falcos. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like maybe two years ago, maybe one and a half years ago, if you went to like any sort of local, you would probably run into a Falco that would shoot a lot of lasers. You run into Kaiki. You would run into a Falco that shot a I'll lot of lasers. See at my you. Kaiki. you would run into a Falco that shot a lot of lasers at you. <laughs> we could keep naming these people off, right? And now suddenly they've all been replaced by like really technical fox memes. Uh Panda included. So he's kind of on the come up, right? Yeah. On Big the pa other side, Big Papa's been here forever. Your boy Big Papa is playing Ganondorf, and he is in this. He hasn't been playing like, you know, super long. Like but three he's years. definitely he's definitely like a PM vet. Uh, and he is like he's good. His Ganondorf, like you play this Ganondorf, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm playing some Ganon, you know, haha, -ha, easy matchup. And then suddenly he's like down throw tech chasing you and like reading your text with stomp and like you're just dead and you're like, whoa, what just happened? Uh, this man is dank AF. Yeah, I like, put, I'd probably put Big Papa, if we had a PR up to 20, he'd definitely be on it this time. He's probably in the like the 17, 18 range right now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if, I we, that, if, we, have, if we have the exclusions we have right now, we'll yeah, Pi yeah, and I, I see Juan. That. I agree with that. He had really good wins last season. It took like a little hiatus where he just kind of went to Michigan for a little bit. Uh, and then he retired, and then nobody retires from Melee. And then no one retires from Melee. Now he's back. Uh, he's also a cosmic entity. Uh, he's cosmic also like entity. immortal. Uh, he just, he's not really like alive as much as he's like a being that like cannot live or cannot die. Shut up. He's kind of like, he's also like the... He's the zero zero point of the universe. Let's just put it like that. Shut up and commentate right. the match. <laughs> Big Papa trying to box him out right now. I mean, that's what Ganon's best at, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> Ooh, right. yeah. No DI in that. Mm -hmm. So one of the weird things that... Uh, one of the really weird things about like the Ganon matchup in general for all characters is that you have to be aware when Ganon can be fast and when Ganon is slow. Uh, Cause Ganon actually has like Some a decent set. Frame data. Yeah, he has like a set of like really fast or like really good moves in general. Uh, he has a really fast double jump, and he can get out of hits done really quickly. He also has like a really fast back air and like a jab. really good like jab. Jab's like frame three. It's super fast, and then it's so strong. Yeah. So like you'll be playing. So like Ganons are like really good at like you know you'll be playing them. They're like super slow. They're like running around. They're trying to wave land on platforms to like gain speed, and then suddenly just boom, 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 you get hit by like three fast moves, and you're like, "What just happened?" Yeah, Ganon's wave land sick. Yeah, Ganon's, Ganon's wave land sick. Also, twenty two percent of that. Freaking Ganon, dude. Oh, tried to catch him with a stomp, and Panda. Oh, doesn't quite get anything off the drill, but it looks like he's got to get in a bad spot. Oh, nice back air. Hmm. Shield drop up here? Oh, I thought it was going to... Oh, no. Ganon, oh, he's living, though. Ganon's, Ganon's really thick. fat. Yeah. <laughs> With two Cs. Thick. <laughs> Ganon is thick. Hashtag thick. Oh, no. He's up air. Yeah. Hand is nasty. Okay. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, Big Papa often describes to me, like, how... How we kind of doesn't like playing this matchup sometimes because he feels as though like game one is like too important. Uh, the way that he says that everything kind of goes is that whenever he loses, he loses game one because then he will win on Fountain of Dreams in game two. Why and Fountain? then, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's just his like favorite stage. I think also he gets uh, better combos on it because of the weird platform heights. And it kind of works out because the high ceiling lets him not die to up air as exactly. early or up smash. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the closer sides get a still quick forward air and back air kills. And then he has to ban, like, if, he, if it goes to game three, he has to ban uh, FD. FD and, and then, then take the Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. But currently, Panda currently up. Pressing buttons. Yeah, he's pressing some buttons. He's up a whole stock. Big Papa kind of struggling to find his ground right now. Oh, 
I love the jab. Oh, oh the doing man. him dirty. I love the tip. The offstage tip man too. That's my favorite thing about Ganon, to be honest. That and his ledge jump, that nobody his punishes. His ledge jump? It's so okay, high and nobody jump punishes it. super high. I think it's like the same height as like a Falco regular jump. Oh my gosh, that edge guard. And nobody touches it. Because I remember I watched a... Uh, it's so spoopy, dude. I was he watching Macti versus uh, Linguini. Linguini at CEO. And he just didn't punish ledge yeah. jump ever. I don't know if Peach can, though. He's I don't, like slow I don't think up. Peach can for sure. Uh, she gets, she doesn't get distance. Uh, Fox on the other hand definitely can. Yeah. But it's like so spooky because if you're off timing, you're gonna get forwarded, you're gonna get stomped, and then suddenly Ganon's coming down, and like you're in a tech, you're in a tech position. Like it's it's spooky for sure. I feel like Panda should be approaching with more drill, drill shine because Ganon can't crouch, can't jab it or anything. Uh, ooh, ooh that, I like that. Yeah. F tilt was pro. Down tilt, F tilt. All right, Big Papa, Big Papa looking, uh, looking pretty clean right now. Like, that first dog was definitely kind of a blowout by Panda, but he's up right now. Oh. oh. That was almost the read. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was a read or if maybe it was a in missed input on an instant up air. I feel like Panda three months ago would have fallen for that, but uh, the new and improved Panda. The new and improved Panda. I mean, Panda's just been making so many better decisions, and that's just yeah, that's the game true. so yeah. much. Because this tech seal hasn't changed a ton in the last couple months, but he's just... I don't know, been playing the game with people that have trained him better, I guess. It's hard to explain. He just makes better decisions now. Did you see the uh, jump canceled shines? Panda right there? Yeah. Dude, he's pressing buttons. This man is technical. All right. Up air. Oh, back oh, air. Oh, back air. That was crisp, too. Dang. That's he's like, he's like, he's landing around everywhere. Just back air. All right, so we're going to Pokemon. Yeah, we're going to Pokemon. Can we? Can you tell me why every set on stream so far has gone, gone to, to game, game three? three? No, I couldn't tell you. What is going on? These have all been like really sure. good games too. Because round three is oh he he banned Pokemon. He banned Pokemon and took him to FD. Hmm. This this is scary. this is interesting. Uh, so FD definitely Ganon's worst stage. Um, in it that like a Ganon main's get a lot of their mobility from wave landing around platforms, right? Uh, Ganon is Pretty one of the... Pretty much all their mobility, because yeah. Ganon's jump squad is what, frame 6 or something like that? Oh, yeah, it's super slow. Oh, okay. Push his mo make sure his model's off stage with the get-up attack. Uh, Ganon's Ganon can do that. Yeah, a couple characters can. So it's really just... Oh, <laughs> Ganon's thick, though. Ganon's thick. Hashtag thick. Uh -oh. Yeah, shines him. He's got to jump, though. Not enough. So it's really going to come down to how Ganon decides to box him out. Right. Because uh, you basically have to read Fox's approaches. Mm -hmm. You can't really react to him. You don't have enough movement to get around them. So you just kind of have to space yourself correctly and uh, box him out. And that's really hard yeah, to Ganon. Yeah, for sure. Because like, he doesn't have anything to get tricky with back airs. He just, mm -hmm. he's got, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. You see Panda? He gives Big Papa a look and is like, yeah, what's up, dude? Oh, oh no, it. that sucks. Ooh, catches right. his catches it with the uh, oh, oh my sneaky goodness. angles, sneaky right. angle. Back oh, air. he had the read too. Huh? I'd be pretty salty. I'm not sure if it was a read as much as it was coverage. But he, he had that back. Right, in the right yeah, spot. he had it. He had it in the right spot. Now it's his turn. Oh no! Dang, these angles from Panda have been. Uh, yeah, he can't let it keep letting him get back like this. That's where he's got to excel. It's just when Fox is off stage. Did you see that? He tried to catch. Uh, he tried to catch like aggression from Panda with the uh, with the double jump up air, and Panda was just like, "Nah, I'm holding ledge, bro." This is it's just rough. Ganon doesn't yeah, have anywhere to really go. Rough. He doesn't have any good way to get out of Fox pressure or any way to move maneuver around it. <laughs> Down throw jab. I All right, love it. This, that's it. Yeah, I was looking like it's it. Oh, okay. Mm. Dang. I'm not sure if uh, striking to F, like, you know, if letting, letting 